Mm-hmm. He maybe have good intentions, but he kind of lying all over the place, you know. Uh, let's see, what's this? Basic quick attack kick still with. Okay. Uh, we'll see. One-handed heavy weapons. So I'll use the use one heavy weapon, maces, hammers, and axes. Okay. One heavy weapon deals more damage. You know what? Let's just go with this one. There you go. What's this do? Two-handed heavy weapons allow you to use. Allow you to use two-handed impact weapons. Okay. Healing magic. Okay. Are you sure? Do I need to get this first? Uh, complete member is okay. Template okay. Uh. Kind of, I can just go up here. Oh, I can just get up here. I'm a breaker, yeah. What's this one? Rolling, yeah. Uh, let's see. Nah, not worth it. Oh, nice outfit. Oh, yes, please. Yeah, he has way better outfit than I do. Uh, do I have any of this? No. How do I change weapons again? I've kind of forgot. Okay, that's our stealth. Uh, we'll see. Let's go back to what I was doing, the other side quest. Just one long heal. I guess that's the ship. Actually, I don't want to go here just yet. Not quite yet. Let's head over this way, actually. Should be here, right? The merchant is there. Yo. Good day, my lady. How might I be of service? You can start by explaining to me why you refuse to honor the orders agreed upon with the guard. There's been a misunderstanding, madam. Of course we're ready to honor the orders. In fact, I've already had a word with your master at arms. They're asking that we pay again, despite having already paid. It's just that the price has gone up since. I've nothing to do with it. This is inadmissible. If you agree on a sum, you need to honor that agreement. I'm sorry, madam. I'm just an agent, and I'm only obeying orders. Hmm. Why don't we go and solicit other suppliers, Kurt? When we've already paid for the merchandise. If these thieves agree to reimburse the original payment, it's what we do immediately. And do know, in the future, we won't be shopping with them. Well, I should think not. Hmm. Your master has apparently asked you to demand a second payment for this merchandise. That's right. He told me that their attendant seemed to be hiding something when he passed the order. And so he must have thought the guard would end up paying in the end whatever he asked for. I'll be damned. And I'm the one they've sent to settle the affair. Sorry, Captain. It's nothing personal. I'm only following orders. Following orders. Yeah, we hear you. 
Makes one wonder which one of the two of us is a coin guard. This whole story sounds suspicious and stinks of a scandal. You were demanding a second payment, but refused to reimburse the one that was already made. I'm not the one demanding nor refusing. It's my master. This stubborn fool is pushing me to madness. You understand now why I'm asking for your help? Hmm. I don't think you understand who you were dealing with. Perhaps I failed to present myself properly. Lady de Sade, yep. niece of the Prince d'Orsay, and legate of the Congregation of Merchants. During our conversation, you explained to me that your master forced you to commit a crime. That's regrettable. Especially as you will be considered his accomplice in extortion and yep. theft. You know as well as I that the Congregation does not tolerate such illegal activities. But I'm only obeying orders. That's a shame. Well, as orders are the only language you seem to understand, I order you to return the guard the merchandise without delay. Unless you'd rather your master is hung and that you finish your days in prison. I beg your pardon, my lady, but you are not my master. Moreover, the attendant of the guard was quite specific, saying this affair should be handled with extreme discretion. So I seriously doubt that you'll be wanting to drag us in front of a judge. That would stir up the muck. Whatever is he talking about, Kurt? Your guess is as good as mine. Offer my buy or offend him. Yeah. This is preposterous. Yeah. Your master is a thief. And I have no patience for bandits and robbers. Either you give us back what's ours, or we'll take it. Your idea of diplomacy isn't all that different from my own. Uh, to the devil with you. Since you leave us no choice. The merchant's clerk isn't hearing your arguments. The only thing left is a show of strength. Sorry, Greenblood. We cover if the I'd green. Known, I wouldn't have gotten you mixed up in this. No problem. Oh. I wish I could uh, got that. I should have saved before I talked to him. Oh well. Oh well. Let's just go kill him, I guess. Yep. Oh, that's how you change weapons. Things are about to get All these blue bloods are not worth tuppence. All these blue bloods they aren't worth tuppence. There you go. He seems to have grown wiser all of a sudden. Yes, yes, don't hear me anymore. Very well. I'm counting on you to deliver this merchandise as quickly as possible. Yes, my lady. I'll take care of it immediately. There you go. Reputation is down 1%. Ugh, whatever. They should have fired me then. What's up this way? Hey, there's a chest there. Hey, we need to go back down. There's supposed to be stairs here? Wait, hang on, what? Aha! It's not possible just now. Any science, really? Yeah. I got nothing, pretty much. Anything I need, I don't have. Did I do everything? Form the guards, okay. Guess we have to talk to the guards.
Find the move around the city. Oh, yeah, this place. Yo. Lady Desade, I presume. It is an honor to make your acquaintance. Captain, you set sail soon. Have you seen to our little business? Yes. We were finally able to recover your merchandise. Excellent news. I'm afraid, though, that your mission isn't completely finished, Kurt. Blast me. I'm a captain, not an errand boy. The commander was quite explicit. Very well. What do I need to do? The merchandise that you obtained needs to be sent to Tier for D as soon as possible. But the Port Authority formalities for shipping take an eternity to wade through. And we've already lost quite a bit of time with this dishonest merchant. Are you blatantly asking us to smuggle this merchandise and contraband? I would never ask you to do such a thing, Your Excellency. Ah. But you don't mind asking that of Kurt? Well, now, uh, if he finds an alternative solution that is less uh, illegal, uh, that would be fine. The method matters not. But this cargo must reach the Isle on the next ship. Marvelous. Well, then, I await your return with utmost impatience. I'm certain you shall do what's required. Okay, why do you need this cargo so badly delivered? What is this cargo? Now I'm getting very suspicious about the town guards. It's very, very suspicious why he needs this so badly. No, no, things are not adding up. Leather. I want to talk to this guy first. But I still don't see Constantine at your side. I hope he hasn't been the victim of any foul play. <laughs> don't worry. We'll find him in time for departure. I certainly hope so. Uh, would you be in need of my help in any way? What will be your official title on Tier for D? Or are you just here to keep an eye on us? Come now, don't be ridiculous. I'm coming in the capacity of official advisor, nothing more. Uh, but His Highness has also asked me to report to him on certain strategic observations. I am therefore required to take note of all events, uh, chart the island and its resources, and also obtain as much knowledge as possible concerning the more dangerous creatures of the island. Your help will be extremely valuable to me. I've no longer the legs of an adventurer. <laughs> it's always a privilege to help, Master. Okay. I need to be leaving. I have quite a few things to do before we raise anchor. So I guess he's the only thing left to do around here. Lively there, lads and lasses! I promised the merchants and their prince would be off before the tide. You man, carry that properly. That porcelain is worth more than your life. <laughs> Though some children we'd be best to refuse. Captain Vasco. And you are? I'm de Sarde, the prince's niece. If all is in order, you will soon be embarking on your boat. It's a ship. Not a boat. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies for my asking, but the young governor isn't with you. He didn't come home this morning. I need to find him before departure. I hope nothing's happened to him or he hasn't changed his mind. The tide does not wait. Perhaps he simply celebrated his imminent departure with a little too much enthusiasm. Is everything ready? We're short a crew member. The cabin boy is missing. 
But have no fear, we will leave without him if he does not present himself before the tide. Is he an important member of the crew? We don't need him for sailing or navigation. He's only a cabin boy. He must have simply had a bit too much to drink in celebrating his departure. Like another I know. I doubt that. Jonas was never one to fancy drink. And it's been two days since last he was seen. No, I fear something bad has happened to him. Might I ask you, if you hear anything, could you report it to me? I would like to set sail with a clear mind. Roger. Ask about the cabin boy. Yeah. When did you see your cabin boy for the last time? It's been two days since I've had any news at all. It wasn't out of the ordinary until this morning. My men have free shore leave when we're at dock. But the day of departure, every able-bodied sailor must be present on the ship. Hmm. Does the boy know anyone in Serene? Other than fellow Norts, you mean? I don't think so. But it's difficult to be sure. Okay. Miss Jonas, does he have any close friends amongst the crew? In tradition, we are all members of the same family. But yes, there would be Flavio and Laura. Might I have a word with them? As you wish. You'll find them over there, in port. Thank you. Ask for help. I have a favor to ask before we leave. I'm all ears. We would like to load some merchandise into your ship's hold. Impossible. You're too late for that. All merchandise must be registered at the Port Authority, and the formalities are long. So, unless you're asking me to turn smuggler and hide contraband on my vessel... I wouldn't go that far. We're only talking about a few crates, after all. Well then, they'll have to wait. The next ship for New Serene leaves in a month. Ouch. Fire. If that shipment doesn't leave today, the commander will have my hide. Captain, I understand your position, but isn't there some way we can get these crates on board? I doubt it. Even if I wanted to help you, my quartermaster is a half-crazed bridge troll. He's <laughs> gone into his head that a gang of ruffians want to use my ship to pass contraband over to Tier 4D. He's placed guards where our cargo is being held before being loaded. All that is not in the warehouse and noted on the manifest will be left on the docks. Sorry, but your crates are going to have to wait until the next ship sets sail. Sorry, Kurt. At least we tried. The commander is going to have my head. I'm sure that's what he wanted in giving me this impossible task. In that case, we're going to have to doctor the manifest ourselves. It must be at the harbour master's office. Roger. Be back soon, Captain. Hmm, Roger, this is just getting weird and weirder. Um, let's go with fine, okay. Let's, let's go with that one, shall we? Let's discover where the cowboy went to. Yo, where's the cowboy? Uh, we speak you in a second. There's a chest here. Hey, I got some good gear. Let's see, pretty much the same, but minus two magic gear. Why not? Plus one craftsmanship. Minus four. No. Hello. Good day. Someone told me that you were a friend of Jonas, the young cabin boy who has gone missing. That's right. Yeah. Are you looking for him? Yes. Your captain asked me to go and find him. Happy to hear he's taken the disappearance seriously. What can I do for you? Ask about the captain. Boy. Ask about. What do you think about Captain Vasco? He's a damn good navigator and an excellent leader of men. He knows his craft well, in spite of being so young. How old is he? He's not seen his 25th year yet. 
Really? If he keeps it up, he'll be an admiral one day. God damn. Uh, what's the last time you saw him? When did you last see him? Two days ago, in the evening. We went to have a drink in the tavern. Jonas, Lauro, and myself. Did anything seem out of the ordinary? Was he troubled? Maybe a tad troubled. Like he was somewhere else. Why would that be? Give me your best guess. Boy, I haven't the faintest idea. Okay. Um. What does Jonas do in his free time when you're on land? He just hangs around here or there. You know the cabin boys don't have half a sailor's wages. And when evening comes, we usually go down the tavern with good old Lauro. Did he ever have one too many? Never. He sips his point like it was bad medicine. One drink lasts him the whole night. <laughs> well. Does he know anyone in Serene? No one, far as I know. Do you think he could have made himself any enemies? I wouldn't think that for a moment. Jonas has a good heart and he steers clear of trouble and troublemakers. I don't know where to start with this. Do you have any idea? No. Lauro uh -huh. won't stop telling anyone uh -huh. who will lend him an ear that the boy was carried off by thugs. And you don't believe him? I like Lauro, don't get me wrong, he's like a brother. But to be honest, he drinks a little more than he should. The itch for a drink gets mm -hmm. us all, but to him more than others. And when you drink too much, the imagination wanders. Here, yesterday, it was me who tied one over, and I thought I heard Jonas's voice by the canal. I called back to him, as you guessed, but then nothing. Drink. It blurs the senses. Okay, hey. Oh, yeah. I'll pad you, little guy. I need to be going. Farewell. Canals. Hmm. Canals, canals. Hmm. Where's his friend, though? The other guy. There he is. I need to speak to you. Good day, sailor. I've been told that you know the missing cabin boy well. Is that right? You talking about Jonas? You bet your stars on you. But like I've been crying to the nine death winds. He didn't go missing, he was taken. Taken? Why would anyone want to snatch a mere cabin boy? How would I know? Jonas is a gentle boy who keeps his head down. <sighs> you think my story is nothing but mist too, don't you? It's just that I can't imagine a gang of thugs hoping to get a ransom for a cabin boy. Did Jonas seem troubled to you the night he disappeared? Maybe. For sure he wasn't his usual self. Do you know what was on his mind? No. No idea. Were you a witness to the event? Yes, I was. Even though I'd had a few tumblers in the belly, I hadn't yet lost my head. The other day, in the tavern, I saw him talking to a well-dressed man, surrounded by some other sly ruffians. And then when we left, him and I, Flavia left a little earlier, you understand? Well, those brutes were there, waiting for him. They just up and took him like that. Grabbed his arms and puffed. Gone. Vanished. Why didn't you intervene? <sighs> I tried to, believe me. But my legs betrayed me. Wavering they were. And I fell into the gutter. Did you report this to the captain? Unfortunately not. I know all too well what weight my words carry. Even Flavia treated me like a drunken fool. And the captain? No, not telling him that. I still have some pride left. You get me? Did anyone else see the kidnapping? There was still a small crowd in the tavern. But outside, I seem to recall that regular being there. We play cards with him from time to time. The kind of fellow who plays from morning to night time to be that skilled. But now and again he comes out. When nature calls, you know. I kind of remember his face being there. 
Okay. Thank you, Lara. I need to be going. Strange story, this. Something isn't right here. I can feel it. We need to lift the veil on this. Okay, some reason now we assess on the cowboy. We need to find out where the cowboy is. Wait, did I kill that guy? Maybe. I don't remember who I killed anymore. Okay. Hey, barkeep. A uh, completing quest and griefful request can usually be completed in several different ways. Okay, blow. Okay. Yep, a good thing I saved her then. Good day, tavern keeper. Good day to you. What is your pleasure? <laughs> yep, ask about the cowboy. Someone told me about one of your faithful clients. A big gambler, it would seem. I see. An able bodied man. Passes his time lightening the pouches of sailors coming through. Where might I find him at this time? Here. He would never give away his chair at his table. I am looking for a nought. A young cabin boy who has been missing roll call for two days now. A nought, you say? That's not a lot to go on. There are quite a few that come to my tavern. According to one of his fellows, he would have been taken right here. A kidnapping? In my establishment? You surely jest. At least I hope you do. I would have noticed. That doesn't hold water. Anything else? Nah, that's all. Yeah. I'm looking for my cousin. His name is Constantine. I believe he was intent on celebrating his departure last night. There was indeed a party here last night. But it ended badly. Whatever do you mean? A brawl broke out. My tavern was shattered. And no one's paid for the damages. I'm sorry. Amongst the rebel rousers, did there happen to be a young man? Twenty years of age? Hair down to his neck, light brown? Blue eyes? Quite the talker? I don't believe it. Of course he was there. He's the man that started the fight. Oh, God. I hope you've come to reimburse me. Don't count on me to help you if that's not the case. What kind of damage are we talking about exactly? A good half of my furniture was broken into firewood. Oh. I piled up the lot over there. Let me take a look. Perhaps it can be repaired. If you can fix it, I'll be obliged. If not, you'll need to pay. Okay, don't pay now. That's not a small sum. I need to think about my options. How the father has forgotten to give his daughter her allowance, it would seem. I need to be off. Farewell. Goodbye. Okay, where's the furniture? Hey, there's more gold. You can play about gold, but there's gold everywhere. Oh, but can I repair this furniture? This furniture is in terrible condition. The fight must have been extremely violent. It looks as if it's fixable. I've seen worse. We'll need to build some metal dowels, but once done, we can make them like new. I could repair this if I had some metal dowels. Okay, how do I make those? Is there a crafting station around here? Uh, I think that's a crafting station. Crafting cross allows you to upgrade your weapons armor. Now she's a uh, trap, so okay, yep. I need one level in crafting and iron, okay. Wait. Who are you? I don't recognize you. Am I in your debt? No, 
Have no fear about that. 